let me tell you the best ways to start investing in crypto. Like I said in the past, you can't put all your eggs in one basket and that's why I'm a firm believer in diversifying your portfolio. That means not putting everything into one allocation. Let's make the analogy of an airplane. You've got all the things on an airplane that have to work right for it to go up in the air and stay up in the air. But if you've got one engine and that engine goes off, you're gonna come crashing down. Let's say you have four engines and one of them goes off. You could still stay in the air and you can still get to a landing at some place or another. If you think about that, if you've got all of your energy, money, investment, and time in one arena, like I did back in 2008, everything I owned and everything I invested in was all about real estate that was over leveraged. And when that crash came, so did my network, so did my money, so did my finances. And so that's what I'm trying to save you from. I'm looking at this as the new big thing and a lot of people are putting a lot of time and energy and money into it and I would hate for them to lose everything. So if you're gonna start to invest, start out small. What that amount is, is really up to you. If you're bringing home $5,000 a month, your rent and everything is paid and you've got $1,000 left over, start off with a number you're comfortable losing with. It's really up to you. And you have to understand that cryptocurrency works unlike stocks. It behaves more like commodities, like oil, corn, and soybean. It goes up and down without the same structure as stocks do. Stocks have profit and loss. They have shares, they have the ability for the value to rise when the company does well, right? According to earnings, cryptocurrencies weren't designed originally to be an investment. They were supposed to be a medium so that you can buy and supplement things. Central banks and banking system, obviously for obvious reasons, don't technically even acknowledge cryptocurrencies because they're there to disrupt the very thing that big banks represent. And because the government can't control control cryptocurrency, the valuations can go up or down pretty quickly. Now, the SEC just came out with a ton of rules about interest-bearing accounts and some of the companies involved, I won't name their names, but they just got tagged for a hundred million dollars in, in lawsuit filed by the SEC. And so it's important to remember, regulation will eventually happen to some degree or another because a lot of people and a lot of investors do want safety and security. So up until now, you know, crypto currency was there to provide some trade in a non-real world environment, but now you can cash in the chips, so to speak. There are ways that you can get some amount of liquid cash pretty quickly, but as this thing is evolving, even governments aren't really sure what to do with it. And because of that, tread lightly, know exactly what you're willing to risk. And there are a bunch of platforms out there. SoFi is one of them. Robinhood is another. Gemini is another. I'm not advocating you use any of them because quite frankly I'm not sponsored by any of them but this is real cool ways for you to kind of figure out the game and study as much as possible if you like the financial advice that I give you go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you want five steps on investing in crypto go ahead and hit this video now